Hello, I'm Malcolm Warner. Welcome to my kitchen, where I confess I have been known to make one or two cocktails in the past. Um, but this one's kind of special because it's to mark the occasion of the opening of the Great Granville Redmond Exhibition of Laguna Art Museum. And um, we've invented a cocktail in his honor. Uh, it's basically a variation on the Negroni. Those of you who are mixologists or aficionados uh, will be familiar with that drink. So the ingredients are gin, um, pretty basic, um, then sweet vermouth, and this is the magic one, grand poppy. This is a bit more offbeat. This is a, a wonderful um, aperitif invented and made in California by Green Bar Distillery in Los Angeles. They didn't pay me to say that, by the way, but I think it's an incredibly nice um, addition to a, a cocktail recipe. Let me read you the ingredients. Molasses, California poppy. So this actually has poppies as an ingredient, um, but many others. Grapefruit, uh, orange, lemon, berberry, California bay leaf, pink peppercorn, dandelion, blessed thistle, burdock, rue, artichoke, gentian, geranium, cherry bark, and cane sugar. Anyway, it's nectar, it's delicious. Um, so that's the thing that makes this drink Granvillian or Redmondian, whatever you want to say. As anyone familiar with Redmond's work knows, poppies are his signature. No other California artist could match his skill at painting what is known in uh, the Latin terminology as an Eschultzia Californica, the golden poppy. By the time Redmond started painting poppies, that flower had become a symbol of California itself, its golden hue representative of the state's history of gold mining, its importance as an orange grower, its perennial sunshine, and its amber hillsides in summer. Designated the state's floral emblem in 1890, the golden poppy became California's official flower in 1903, and from then on, images of poppies started appearing everywhere. The fact that Redmond started painting his poppies shortly after California officialized that flower's status was surely not coincidental. Okay, well, I think we're ready to make the cocktail now. Um, the equipment we'll need is the usual shaker, the key thing about making any cocktail is coldness. So put plenty of ice in that shaker and chill your martini glass beforehand. Always a good idea. Just take it out of the freezer just before you're ready to make the drink. Now, our liquid ingredients um, um, mix together best for this drink if in equal quantities. So makes it easier, really, easy to remember. So I'm going to use my jigger here to. Um, measure out just one jigger and a half of each of the ingredients. This is the gin going in. You know, Granville Redmond um, is not known to have been a big drinker. In fact, when his mother wrote a begging letter on his behalf when, while he was studying in Paris to um, a charity, she specifically said, you can be sure he won't spend it on drink and women. Um, nevertheless, I like to imagine that um, Granville Redmond and his dear friend Charlie Chaplin would have enjoyed a drink together every now and then. So here we go. Those are the, the equal ingredients. And um, beforehand, I peeled this uh, piece of orange peel here. That's an old uh, kind of cooking presenter's trick, isn't it? But the way you, you do it, you get an orange. This came from the tree outside in our backyard actually. Um, that's why it doesn't look all that perfect, but um, we love to use these, these real California oranges. It's part of the fun, part of the Californianness of this recipe. So you, you peel a, a nice curly bit of uh, orange peel and put it in there. And now I'm ready to shake. I love uh, making, making uh, 
cocktails is uh, like a naughty form of cooking, I always think, sort of mixed up with uh, doing a chemistry experiment. So here we go. So there is a drink named for Charlie Chaplin, actually, the Charlie Chaplin. It's a mixture of gin and um, fruit juices. But now, Granville Redmond has a drink too. So I give you, whoops, the Granville. Mm. It's delicious. Thank you.